films and you're a filmmaker, you're actress, but you're also an experiencer. What is Sandra talking about? That is the question that I ask myself all the time. What am I talking about? <laughs> um, You've made these films, there's a lot of stuff in there, very complicated. Uh, you're obviously an actress, you're training to be an actress, you've got a lot of ambitions and you want to explore these, but why have you chosen those concepts to talk about on those films? I think uh, these concepts are interesting and I think people should talk about these uh, topics uh, more, more often um, and, and look, at, uh, look, at, uh, look at it as normality, if I'm um, expressing myself correctly. And, um, and, and that's exactly what I thought, that, that um, it, it would be interesting to talk about these things because I am a seeker and I'm a researcher and everything that um, I have been talking about so far in my films, uh, this is my second project now. Uh, I am looking to build up my archive. I, I really see the future bright in that sense. Okay, we're, uh, we're talking in January uh, 2016 um, and hopefully maybe by the time a lot of people see this you could have made a lot of different films. Really, what, what sort of, what's your ambitions? Where do you want to show, what sort of things do you want to do in, in this genre? Uh, or what different genres do you want to do, deal with? Yeah, uh, well right now I'm focusing more on, um, they call it uh, sci-fi, it would fall under that genre. And uh, my first project then, it was a short movie. Uh, I had no experience, nor I had no budget or tools. All I had is my willpower and, and my desire to talk about certain uh, topics that, that I felt were interesting for me at that time. Um, I was just shedding some light and I was hoping to raise some awareness. Uh, they weren't directly my personal experiences, not at all. They were uh, experiences that I had accumulated over over my lifetime, uh, not only from people that I love and trust, but as well just uh, uh, distant uh, associates and, and uh, far just just uh, momentary contacts or or random people just sort of coming into my life and telling me their observations and stories. Um, this is it. Uh, I, I'm not a whistleblower. I, uh, I'm not a contactee per se. I can't really, like I said earlier, I can't really suppress my, my experiences and dismiss them. I take them very seriously. Uh, I find them something that I need to definitely confirm and, and uh, look more in depth to. I've, in order for me to confirm them, I've done a lot of research as far as reading uh, many, many books now during the past at least five years and attending many lectures. And um, so Walking Case uh, is, is pretty much like uh, based on uh, real stories that, that, that are some nuances are my personal experiences and some have been other, other, uh, like I said, either far or, or local uh, people in my life, and uh, and, uh, and and it, it, it's I had I had a choice either to you know maybe write about it, but but since I enjoy acting and and I wanted to to make it precedent in a movie form. Uh, and walking case, as the title says, it, it could it could mean a lot of things. So so that's what I was trying to cover. A walk a variety. in is, a, is like some kind of an, it's some kind of energy or entity that's walked into somebody's body and taken it over. That isn't that. Yeah, that is means? absolutely uh, one aspect of it. Yeah, essentially. Um, what other aspects are there? A walking case could also mean a download uh, that that could happen to people, especially as of late, uh, since uh, everybody's talking about the shift and and uh, and and this uh, interesting time that we live in. Uh, but walking case in my movie definitely meant like uh, 
various uh, stories that I've heard from females that, that have been in contact with or been in relationships that they feel that they're dealing with something unearthly. Can you explore that more? Can you explain that more? Elaborate on that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in my movie, I was uh, concentrating on different forms of uh, manipulation. Just a little bit about my background. Um, I have studied, uh, I've done my BA in psychology and then and, and my MA in social sciences. So I was very interested personally in, uh, in uh, people and, and the problems that everyone faces on different levels. And, and why these problems occur. Why, why are we dealing with them? And uh, walking case could be probably shedding light on, on some reasons behind those problems. Because, Such as? Which could be external uh, factors. Because during counseling, I noticed that, that often uh, some of my clients would be I, I just at some point I started questioning my profession and actually funny enough in walking case the main character is a psychologist and she's dealing with this uh, past issue that is entering re-entering her life what things were you actually trying to question what was the issues that you felt was wrong with your profession uh, well just uh, even in my personal life, uh, you know, and, and observing my family and friends and, and what they were dealing with and my friends and their families, that, uh, you know, certain problems seem to be just uh, uh, totally out of control. And, and how can you sort of like set that balance and, and regain control? And and I really started questioning uh, what is causing that if... if Essentially, people, you know, in majority want to have positive and, and meaningful lives. Why are these things, some problems, so epidemic? And, uh, and then I started researching. This is it. I started sort of like hearing these uh, stories and synchronicity brought me to some uh, cases, uh, some, some personal friends, even females that were talking about um, very, very uh, unusual paranormal experiences. And, uh, and me as a writer, and, uh, and I, I do want to pursue uh, now the, the storytelling and, and movie making, uh, I, I uh, just wanted to combine my personal experiences with their experiences. So pretty much Walking Case does definitely reflect uh, true stories. And, uh, and uh, it, it, you know, I, I could promote it as fantasy as well, of course. Yeah. Yeah. You can take but it as, it's, uh, it's that, as you uh, want. Sometimes it's better to sort of have a fantasy film which gets over really serious information because if you call it real, people wouldn't believe it without the fact film. That is uh, what, what we're witnessing, uh, you know. Um, I'm going to be totally honest. I, I haven't really had anything so like significant uh, happen to me. But, but of course, you know, we all have had incidences that, that maybe we've, maybe I've already forgotten about them. But, but, uh, but there have been definitely uh, very, very uh, questionable uh, events happening. And uh, I don't want to really lean into them because I think then I would be speculating. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, essentially uh, the stories coming from those women that, that I was uh, collecting data from were definitely very, very close to walking case. Absolutely. There's, I cannot deny it. And, uh, and I think this is uh, nothing unusual. I think this is happening more and more and more often. So how did you get the cases? How did you get across those cases? I mean, uh, find them. Just, uh, just the uh, synchronicities. How I met these people, uh, and and uh, and this is exactly what I wanted to talk about. I feel like uh, I'm not a uh, right now. Maybe in the future, I'm not a really a comedy writer or. Uh, 
or or what other genres do we have action movies so so for me sci-fi is very interesting and uh and i take these 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 stories very seriously these are people who i, I really resonated with and definitely my own as well uh, so how do you translate that or how have you been dealing with that to make it to tell other people about it so in walking case i give references to a lot of uh material if you may that that i've uh, looked at myself over the past years uh, not not all of it just just some key and uh, and and there's there's all aspects i mean what what references were running over there uh, at some point it was it was the topics of um uh of um religion history right. so there's no no real yeah. controversy there yeah uh and and more more exciting things i think uh cybernetics and uh right. and more like high-tech uh sort of uh, forms of uh external factors that might be causing these problems and what draws if you, you to wanna, this what draws me yeah what what makes you sort of why aren't you sitting at home knitting like a proper girl should do because that's not me. I just want to explore. But a lot of other people, normal so-called people, don't go anywhere near that. So how how are you involved with that? How do you feel that you would get? How did you get involved with that subject to start with? It's very courageous for mainstream to start dealing with it. Very very courageous. Yeah. Uh, I do want to remain mainstream, definitely. I would like to reach uh, a, a wide figure of, uh, of, of, uh, of public, if you may. And I, that, that, is, that's, that is why I need to as well be considerate, because what I've noticed lately is in my research uh, is that everyone is living in their own little uh, bubble reality. Yeah. There is no wrong and right. There is no wrong or right. Everyone sees things their own way. And here I would definitely give reference to probably Dolores Cannon, who is confirming that. And I'm getting more synchronistic confirmation for that. Uh, there's no point to argue and debate over things. Yeah. It is literally, I think in the new movie, uh, I will definitely touch, uh, touch a very uh, serious uh, scene there. And then... Uh, I'll, I'll definitely integrate that that fact uh, that um, if uh, someone sees uh, something as red and the other one sees it as green, then then that should be just left as that because it really, really, it, I'm I'm starting to see that that's how things are are functioning around us, which is even opens up an entirely new probability and doors there. I mean, are we talking about the Santa Claus situation, who which which was originally green and ended up red since this is near Christmas this time, but or it just passed. But more seriously, do you think there's something more to that? Why it went from red to green, is or that was just a a, a colour you decided to pick, just to, it could mean any colour. It could mean any colour. The uh, I was uh, what I was trying to say is that everyone literally sees things their own way. There is no wrong or right. And and I'm definitely looking into that uh, now in my research, and um, it's very interesting. Uh, who talks about parallel universes as well is uh, I think uh, Valery Uvarov as well. Uh, and who is can... this? Valery Uvarov is an uh, ancient Egyptian uh, methodologist. He's right. uh, he's an uh, expert in that, and I really enjoy his material. This is it, you know. Uh, I wouldn't be probably talking about this a year ago. Uh, so all the time, I don't know what is around the corner. The more questions you ask, the more questions come about. Yeah. So for me, this is just uh, very, very uh, uh, exciting. So are you asking other people to sort of write into you for the experiences or what? Or I mean, for what's your function for telling us about this now? Uh, I What's definitely, definitely, in walking case, everything is referenced, uh, and, and there, I was trying to back these true stories up that I heard with, uh, solid references, which were running, 
uh, in the mid mid section of the movie. So yeah, uh, let me just repeat that. If you want to see Walking Case, then just log into Facebook follow page, which is uh, facebook.com slash walking case. Uh, as you hear it, walk in case, one word. Uh, you can see the movie. It's a short movie, like I said. I, I didn't have much experience or tools, just my will. So and when, when did you shoot that? I mean, that, that was entered in the First Basis Film Festival, I know, but uh, what when did you actually... Give us a little story, a little bit about that. Okay. Uh, Walking Case uh, started... Uh, I wanted to pursue my acting uh, and then uh, that came about from counseling uh, sessions uh, w whereas I used role play and then I really got curious about acting and, and, and I, I really tuned into my creative uh, part and, and then um, I decided to do my show reel and then I got this concept suddenly, walking case and I was like why, sh why not you know, do a sci-fi concept and uh, and then I took it to to the next level where I already made a short movie out of it. Then I heard about your festival, and then I really speeded up the process, and I wanted to eagerly enter it and, and sort of initiate a, a more public part for it. And I just I I was aware that it was a very limited and maybe primitive uh, project, but but I didn't care about that. I still wanted to enter and and at least initiate a start good and i'm glad i did that and i would recommend to anyone contemplating to enter the festival it's a great opportunity and to see it on a big screen totally it was it was a great great feeling i'm glad i did that and uh, now uh this is this is the route that i've decided to take so with the awakening of 12 strands which you can see in the follow page uh, facebook.com slash walking case you can see the trailer for the new movie it's going to be a one hour I have a little budget I have a little more experience for it a little more tools a little more people participating fantastic and this one is going to be again like sci-fi and definitely uh, information accumulated from true stories and my research from ever 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 till this point ground zero and uh, this one I'm gonna lean into at least a 10 volt uh, references which is gonna be super exciting then and it's gonna be one hour uh, like I said uh, touching at least 10 15 topics so if you are into I'm gonna list them just for fun uh, since my background is uh, as well in public health sciences. I talk a lot about uh, public health uh, and government uh, level uh, sort of um, events, corruption, Agenda 21, past lies, parallel universes, alchemy, nutrition, different forms of manipulation, uh, a little comedy integrated in there. So oh, that's good. Well, so I'm already look, getting in yeah. tune with my comedy. Yeah. I, I definitely want to, I, I like humor and I don't want to yeah. uh, make it too, too sort of serious. It, it, you will definitely have giggles there, though in the tra trailer it looks a little bit dramatic, but, but uh, you know, uh, that trailer is, is going to be updated. And uh, and then uh, what other topics? So the uh, new project, Awakening of Twelve Strands. I'm hoping that if you're not interested in one topic, maybe it's going to capture your attention with a different kind of uh, aspect there. And uh, I I can't tell you right now, but I'm, there there will be at least ten, fifteen, or more topics that I'm. Why covering. so many topics in one film? Because uh, because of uh, my research and because of uh, personal and, and uh, distant encounters that I've just been interested in. And it's uh, synchronistic, the entire storyline. Uh, so it's building up right from the, from the beginning. And, uh, you know, like I said, past lives, parallel universes, alchemy, nutrition, um, public health. 
uh, dream interpretations, uh, UFO, black projects, observers, uh, men in black, etc., etc., etc. So, so if you're not interested in one, maybe there's something that you can hold Would on to like and relate to, to. Branch out individually into those areas and do like a different film on each one or something. Uh, that was an option, absolutely. Uh, so. That will be probably the next project that, that I will write. I already have a concept in my head. And then, uh, unfortunately, that's a downfall with me. I uh, need to live in the now and I need to concentrate on the now. But with this one, I think it will be good to, to have a variety uh, of, of these topics because they, they're all relevant. They're building up and they're all synchronistic. They're related to the main character. And there are many characters there. Uh, in this project, I'll probably have at least 20, 30 actors. And uh, even at some point, the basis project will pop up. Oh my God. Uh, a little character that is very similar to you. So uh, that will be very interesting. And God it's... help him. <laughs> Pressure is on. And uh, I hope you're going to like it, Miles. I really hope you're well, going to. Well, so do I. I hope I'm going to like it. Uh, but where are you going with this? Why are you, is this because you've had, I know you don't want to talk about those experiences, but ha, what made you get into this subject? What was your, did I already say that, that yeah, I, I think, think that people, uh, yeah. that I in think it, this is normality. And I think that people yeah. are already discussing these things regardless, you know, uh, at least, you know, synchronicity is bringing me more and more closer to people who like to discuss these topics and, and their experiencing uh, experiences and people are just coming out of their shells and, and sort of like, you know, awakening and, and really coming to terms more and more that, that you know, this is uh, how it should be. If you even hear the title, The Awakening of Twelve Strands, well, obviously Twelve Strands I, I don't want to give away too much, but uh, it is it's it's it is the it, it is sort of the awakening process, you know, okay. of of any human being, and then how how uh, during my research I've understood that we potentially should be. I mentioned that even in the trailer, uh, so so do have a look and, and make your own judgment. Um, well, we'll run the trailer in, in basis, uh, and we'll, people can see what the movie will have been about, because no doubt people will be seeing the, uh, the full movie uh, when the basis con 20, 2016 happens. But uh, that could be before or after people see this, so uh, we'll not say too much more about that. I would like to really think that I'm uh, composing a concept that hasn't, hasn't been uh, really put out there yet. Uh, that that this will be unique. It won't be a played out concept, in my opinion. It won't be just another, whatever. Uh, that's why this is why I love writing uh, sci-fi. Uh, I think this is my strong point. Uh, being being, I think this is my purpose to be a, a observer and 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 compose interesting interesting true stories that that are really happening. No, that's that's interesting. I mean. Sci-fi is by definition fiction. Mm -hmm. So, do you really think this whole subject, the very subject, is a fiction thing, or is it real or true or true? What's your feeling yeah. on that? No, I, I'm, I'm not dismissing any of those stories. I take them very seriously. I think they are real, and um, unfortunately, I cannot. Uh, call it any other uh, genre or gender. Uh, it is sci-fi category in mainstream eyes. So, uh, but for me, uh, this is uh, based on true stories. So you can call it even drama, if you may. So, um, uh, I, I, I uh, think uh, it will be interesting. Uh, people will definitely be able to resonate and relate to the to the concept, and. Uh, like I said, I don't want to give away too much, but uh, it will be um, it will be covering those topics that I try to list. And, and you're a more... tricksologist, right? What's that? Well, you're you 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 you're that's you, you are a, a bicycleologist. It's slang for being a, a psychology. You know, but that's a pretty heavy subject. Yeah. Is that something you need you needed to be able to understand 
the kind of things that people are going through? Uh, I wanted to do my uh, psychology deg degree to essentially even understand my own uh, life. And I thought that would help me, but uh, far from it. I don't think that these things can be taught at, at a mainstream educational system, that the that, uh, best school is life itself. Right. So even though I have a BA and an MA, I, I really don't think that those uh, topics were, you know, that, that I could better understand those topics. It, it just helped me to really open up my eyes. And I cover a lot definitely about public health in the up and coming movie. Uh, it's very, very uh, heavily, heavy stuff there. Um, and, uh, and I think that synchronicity uh, brought me to that point to, to do, do those courses and, and, and really understand what's going on in the world. So, so that was uh, definitely, I, I've understood that purpose. Uh, and Is there anybody you want to hear from? Would you like people to write to you about their stories or what? Absolutely. Please do contact me. Um, my email is very uh, yeah, easy. Do you want to give out your email? Your personal email or do you want to just use Facebook or what? You can, uh, like I said, yeah, definitely follow me. A lot of me. trolls out there, a lot of... Absolutely. Uh, Facebook.com slash walking case. You can see the walking case movie and then you can see the trailer for the new movie, uh, The Awakening of 12 Strands. And you can email me on walkingcase at gmail.com. Uh, walk in case all in one words as you hear it. Walk in case at gmail.com. No Email me. No or underscores or anything? No, just one word. Walk in case at gmail.com and facebook.com slash walk in case. You can see the movie and the new trailer. And please do get in touch. I, I'm very, very keen to hear from you. Well, we've opened up the bases on this, so maybe we'll be doing a, more parts on this to see how, how you go and how these things develop. So for now, thank you very much, Thank Sandra. you, Miles. And it's been tremendous, and uh, who knows, you know, you could present that film festival, but uh, we'll see. Absolutely, thank you. I will definitely enter, and I really, really encourage people, if you're contemplating, then, then sort of speed up the process and, and uh, submit your work. Because I know I will be soon. Good. No pressure there. Okay, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Sandra. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. You pack up.